let's have a look at the coordination between the cascara pattern and the clave. Okay, again, very important to get your hands working together. So if we look at that pattern, I'll just demonstrate that. So let's have a look at where the hands fall together in the 2-3 pattern. So the cascara starts off with 1, 2, 3, and, and we have the clave on 2 and 3. So the hands fall together 1, 2, 3, and. So you just practice that. So we go 1, 2, 3, and. Let's keep going with that. One, two, three. Then we have the and of the four on the cascara. So add that in. And one, two, three, and four. And. Then just keep practicing that pattern like we did previously with the cascara and hembra. Same thing, loop the first bar, then come loop the second bar, and then put them together. So let's have a look at the second bar. Second bar, we have the clave playing one, two, and three, four. We have the cascara playing one, two, and three, and four, and. So putting them together is the difficult part, but let's have a go. Let's see where they fall together. So we actually have them coming together on the one. So if you think about, we've got one, two, and. So on the and we also have the clave. So we have one, two, and. So just practice that. So we go one, two, and. Then we have the and three, and. So the clave is on the four. We've got and, four, and. So we add that together very slowly. So we have the one, two, and three, and four, and. Just keep practicing that. This is the hardest section actually because your hands are going at different times. So let's practice that again. So we've got the one, two, and four. And. Let's try that one more time, just slowly, counting out. So make sure you keep counting. It's important until you actually get the feel. Because the feel will actually come after a while. Once you keep counting and you hear the sound and your body gets used to it, you'll get it right. Okay, so let's try it again. So we got together on the one. Three, four, eight. Okay, let's have a go at putting the whole pattern together. Just slowly at first. One, two, one, two, three, four. Then once you've done that in 2-3, you go and do the reverse in 3-2. So do exactly the same process by starting with the 3 side first and then putting it together. So let's just go through the 3 side again very slowly. So I'll do the same pattern. I won't uh, go through what I did with the other way. You know how to do that. So let's just look at what the pattern sounds like starting with the 3-2 side. Just slowly. One, two, one. Two, three, four. 